Hi there, I trust you're doing fine. This is Sarah Kimani. I'm your relationship and marriage therapist and I'm happy to host you again today. Wow, today we are going to talk about something that I really like, something that I that I really value in my heart and that is uh, stopping to do the things that you've been doing and starting to do things right, okay? There is a saying that says insanity is doing things over and over the same way and expecting different results. So that is insanity. So in your marriage, stop insanity in Jesus' name. And before we talk about it, let us pray together. Father, in Jesus' name, we give you thanks. You are God who loves growth, O Jehovah Lord. You tell us, O dear Father, to prosper, O dear Lord, in many other ways, even as our souls prosper. God Almighty, I pray that you may help my viewers to prosper in their marriages in the name of Jesus. We give you thanks and we give you honor. Father Lord, as we share together with them, bless each one of us in the name of the Lord. We give you thanks and honor and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. So my viewer, <laughs> like I had said earlier, there is insanity. Insanity is doing things the same way over and over again and expecting different results. You've been married for 10 years, 20 years, 5 years, 6 years, and the way you used to do things then is the way you are doing them today. If you don't like the results of your marriage last year, or five years ago or ten years ago or from the time you got married then it's time to change the way you do things it's time to change the way you do your marriage it's time to change the way you treat your spouse because once now you change then you're going to see different results but this being the beginning of the year if you keep doing things the way you are doing them last year mistreating your spouse giving them that cold cold war you know not talking to them competing with them giving them you know just not being nice to them you are going to get the same results as you got them last time so can you get tired of just having a marriage that is stagnating you know we are told if you're not moving forward if you're not growing then you're backtracking then you're moving backwards there's nothing that is called stagnation in marriage or stagnation in whatever area if you're not growing in your marriage then you're growing you're going backwards and you're actually retrogressing so the thing is please improve or purpose to improve your marriage this year by treating your, your spouse well by treating each other with respect by just working together by taking each other out by just trying to learn emotional intelligence by just purposing to enjoy your marriage to work together because you have realized that marriages cannot work on their own marriages are meant to work and so they are made to work by two individual people who are committed and who are forgiving and people who've decided there is no way out to from their marriage it is them who are going to work together to make the marriage work so that is what you are saying if you don't like the results of last year of your marriage of how you've been try and choose to be happy to work and to do things differently you know what some of these things have no shortcut it is you to rise up and start doing things until they happen otherwise if you keep seeing and admiring other marriages out there and you're not working on your own then you'll be in trouble and you'll continue being not happy in your marriage so purpose to be happy this year purpose to take your spouse out purpose to be nice to them purpose to understand them and to to, to do it, things together and then you are going to enjoy your marriage that's my prayer for you and that's my wish for you today and this year and beyond even as you grow in your marriage okay that's what i wanted us to talk today that we stop our insanity in our marriage so that we change and do things differently okay god bless you so so much and i will see you see you soon bye bye for now